Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to a super simple and closed survival house tutorial. It's really easy to do, it looks awesome, doesn't take too many resources, and it is a pretty small house up top, but we need to go down below. Oh, wow, we have a lot of room, a lot of stuff, a ton of blue orchids, a full enchantment table, and you could do whatever else you want with this underground. Anyways, guys, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so for your gated off house, you're going to need the materials on my hotbar below. Oak wood, oak wood planks, stairs, slabs, you're going to need fences, fence gates, cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and of course glass. You also might need interior materials for stuff like over here. You can see inside of the house you're going to need this kind of stuff and maybe some ladders too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Start off by placing oak wood logs in a square like this. There's a nine block space in between these, so if you need to count, that's how it's going to look. It's a square. And in here, uh, choose a side you want to be the front. So we're going to make this side the front. So we are going to make sure there's a three block space in between. And that's where the entrance goes. So just go ahead and place all this. And you'll have your entrance to your house. And then place cobblestone under these. And then you want to go ahead and build all of these up too high. So sort of your cornerstone type blocks. And then you want to put a cobblestone slab on top of all of those. And then in between, you want to just add oak wood blocks like this. And you will create a wall sort of thing. And then we're going to put fence on top, of course, so it actually works as a wall and it's not just aesthetical. So let's just go ahead and finish this up. And guys, I really do like this house. Like, I think I would live in this in survival. It's really nice. It's kind of elegant. It's just really simple. And I don't know, something about it just sort of rings with me rings with me. I'm not sure if that's a saying or anything. Anyways, I just like to fill it in with grass so it looks natural beforehand. And then you want to make sure there's a two block space on the outside. So see over here, there's a two block space around the whole thing. And you want to build it up one, two, three, four, five high. So find one, two block in like that. And then one, two, that's three, four, five. And you want to do that on each corner. And of course there's a flower. Flowers can totally support large wooden blocks, can't they? Right? So you may be thinking right now, wow, this house is tiny, but the underground portion, and that's my specialty. And as you can see here, this is totally not square because I might have messed up one of the measurements. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I mess up these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's just, you know, that's great. Um, I'm gonna fix that. It's supposed to be nine. I'll be right back. There we go. Much better, right? So it should be nine, or actually should be 11 by 11 by 11 by 11. And then this should be three spaces in between all these oak logs. Sorry about that, guys. You know, I make mistakes sometimes. It all happens to the best of us. And on these, you want to connect them up top. And then for your floor, you can just do whatever. I'm just gonna do this because I don't care about resources. Creative mode for the win. And then we're just going to fill it in with whatever block you want to use. I'll use cobblestone. This is going to be your floor. And on these sides, we're going to have windows. So let me go ahead and show you how those are going to work by coming over here to the one I've already built. There's a layer down there, and then you're going to want to put three on top. Three glasses. And you can see on the other one, I just did planks. But it really doesn't matter, honestly. You can do whatever you like, whatever your heart desires. And then you want to put your oak wood planks on top. And then you want to do your roof. So how you do the roof is, let's go over here and check. So we have two facing up and one in. So two facing up and then one in. Two facing up, one in. So your roof should look, should look something like that. And then you can just go ahead and do that. And you have a nice little roof type pattern thing. And I'm going to make sure I line up everything correctly. So that's the half. Yep. Perfect. And then you want to just do this. And sort of close your roof off with a slanted style roof. I remember there is a there is a name for that. I just cannot for the life of me remember that. I'm going to put two logs facing straight up here. Build them across. And then do some slabs on top. That way it just looks nice. And then if you come over here and look at it, it's just a bit different. You know, honestly, the thing I love about my houses is you really can do whatever you like. If you don't like something, change it. If you do like something, don't change it. So on the front here, since these are both open, we're going to add the stair. We're going to add two blocks right here. And then we're going to add some fences. We're going to have the fences. We need a door. 
Sorry, I accidentally clicked F11. Anyways, you're going to need a door here. So let's put the door inside out like that so it looks wonky. And let's go ahead and set the time to 2000 here. And then build all around it. And then on top of it, put an upside down stair for extra depth. I'm gonna put two more upside down stairs, then one on top, and two fences right here just to give it some texture. So again, this is one upside down stair, one upside down stair, and something on top. So this just gives it a lot of depth as you can see here. So you're walking up to it, you're like, wow, this house must be huge, right? Boom, tiny little house, which is okay, you know? If you don't want a big house, you don't want a big house. And over here, I did sort of a, uh, I don't even know what to call it, maybe a, a balcony thingy, I, you know, whatever really you want to call it, I, I don't know what it would be called properly, but just a little hangout area out here to just kind of scout, or whatever you want to do out here. Doesn't really matter, we're going to add some fences in here, and I think these should be cornerstone blocks too, something like that, and yeah, <laughs> that's not even at all. My bad. Let me bring that one over. So this is going to be three, five. So it's gonna be five along this way. And then we just sort of wanna fill this in like shown. And then we're gonna put some stairs right here so you can walk up and down it. And, hmm. What did I do on this one? Oh, okay, so I just sort of connected the fence there. And you know, really you can do whatever you'd like. So I'm just gonna sort of do something like this, and I think that looks fine with me. You could even bring go as far as bringing this out, and then bringing those out, and then making this even, because it's totally not even, and I didn't notice that. But now I think it looks great. I was like, something looks off here, and everyone's going to get mad at me for it, but it was just a silly little mistake. And here we go. Everything's good over here. And then we're just going to fill this in, and do sort of the same style of thing. So place it from the inside, add a stair from above, Upside down, upside down, slab, and then we're just going to leave it like that because we don't have room to do fences or else when you walk up, you'd be like, uh, yeah, that's weird. So now let's get to work on the interior. Let me grab some materials real quick. All right, so these are materials I'm going to use for the interior. So let's just get to work on lighting. So let's do some torches up here and up here. And then on the outside, we can just do them wherever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them on the corners right here. That way on the outside there's a little bit of lighting. And then of course you probably want some there. And right there. And right there. And then you can put them wherever else on the outside. It really doesn't matter. I don't think you need that many. But something so that when it's night it doesn't look like you're going to die. So let's just go ahead and set it to night real quick. Make sure everything's good. And boom. It looks good and sufficiently lit. I really love this build. I think it looks quite beautiful in my opinion. All right, back to date. Let's get to work on the interior. Oh, that's not a valid number. Sorry, guys. My invalid numbers. Silly me. So I say we put the bed up here. We do a chest, a crafting table, and a furnace. And then in the corner, let's just do a trap door. And what will this lead to? The underground portion. My specialty, guys. I am so much better at building underground than I am above ground. And I may do another advanced little underground house at some point. I may even record that today. I'm in sort of a recording mood today. No homework, so I figured, heck, why not give them a video? So let's just, ugh, I'm having so much trouble. I am struggling. So over here, we're just gonna bring this up. We're not about four high. Actually, how, no, we don't want it four high. We just want it three high. I'm just gonna fill in everything you can see for now with logs and then on the bottom here we're going to do cobblestone so the floor is going to be cobblestone so let's just go ahead and insert all of this give you some lighting real quick and let's actually just make this the entrance here i don't want to make it uh, very weird so there we go that's going to be the entrance and then we'll start doing the room here so we're going to go to Four each way so three four one two three four one two three four and then this is the center so eight plus one is nine and then we're gonna go nine back this way so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then let's just speed this up
Let's just go ahead and put a torch down here. All right, so now that your room is cleared out, you're going to want to throw these uh, logs in the corners just to give it some effect. And then you want to fill in everything you can see on the ceiling and walls with this. Eh. What is this? What? What? You what, mate? Uh, anyways, please don't tell me. Oh god, this layer is all freaking, uh... This layer, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. I'm gonna dig this one more down, I'll be back momentarily. Alright, there we go. Uh, you'd think after a couple of years of doing this, I wouldn't make such stupid little mistakes. But anyways, you wanna make sure that when you dig it down... And I st made a mistake. You want to make sure that when you dig it down, guys, there's enough room to add a ceiling. Unless you don't mind your ceiling being dirt. Which I'm not going to make any judgments, but that would drive me absolutely insane. So like I said, fill the walls and ceiling in with planks like shown. And I for sure am going to speed this up. Definitely will. If I forget to, that is like, this is like the most mistakes I think I've ever made in a video, if so. Um, which isn't good. And by the way, guys, this design, well, the above ground design was made by a guy on Twitter. I think his name was, I don't know, it's in the description. I'm sorry, I forgot. I wrote it down and then I put the link to it and it's in the description. So if you want to follow him on Twitter, pretty awesome guy or girl, not sure which. But thank you for that design. I uh, really appreciate it. I loved it, so I had to make it my own and make a tutorial. So full credit goes to him. Or at least partial for the, you know, sort of idea, I guess. It's not completely his, but the basic idea of it is. Anyways, let's just put this here. And then now you want to make your whole floor into cobblestone. And yes, we're going to have the blue orchid. We're going to put it somewhere. Not sure where yet, but we will make room, believe me. So this underground isn't going to be as advanced as some of my under undergrounds, but if you want to see under undergrounds, other undergrounds, if you want to see those, you can check them out. I have an advanced underground house tutorial, I think is in like the thousands of, or like hundreds of thousands of views. I was really surprised when I looked at that. I was like, wow, that's actually kind of incredible. Uh, so that's awesome. So if you guys want to check that out, it should be somewhere on my channel. I think it's advanced underground house tutorial. Anyways. Now that that's done, we are going to add one in the center because it's bothering me that there's not enough light in the center. So hey, why not? We can, so we will. And right here, I think we should do some chests. So let's do, let's do one row of chests there, one row there. So how I like to do my chests is I like to grab some glowstone here. And I like to grab my chest and I like to put the background as glowstone because that looks awesome, right? Glowstone for days. Can you open? Yes. That's not what I want though. Only on the background. Only on the background, unfortunately. We're gonna do wood logs like that, and then we'll do stairs, because stairs are technically not a solid block. Uh, so if you put them like that, that looks like one. Oh my gosh, what happened? Whoa! My bad. I don't. I did not know that happened with shaders. That is really weird. Uh, anyways, let's just go ahead and put this as a wooden back. Maybe have glowstone up here and here. Is that still going to make it? Yeah, it's still going to make it weird. Eh, okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, we can't do that, but I, I thought it'd be cool. I tried, guys. I tried. You can't say I didn't try. And why not put some furnaces in between those? You know, like we have room, so we might as well add some furnaces. I already have furnaces in my inventory. Man, today should be like National Mess Up Day. Right? Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Anyways, now we can do that on all four sides if you wanted to. But I am going to stop the tutorial there, guys. I've already gone way over the normal time I do for a tutorial. I, not way over, but eh, heck with it. I'll finish it and come back and show you guys, give you some ideas. Alright, so uh, me being me and making more mistakes, I guess I figured why would I just stop there? If I'm gonna make a tutorial, I'm gonna go all out. So let's just put some torches here so we can see. I'm just digging out a little area. I'm gonna put one of these things here and then we're going to make this whole wall into bookshelves. And then the same with this. And then that should give us a level 30 enchantment table. Uh, just because I don't care about resources, I'm gonna do something like that. 
And then up top we can do some glowstone like this. Oh, not like that. Definitely not like that. Let's put some glowstone up here. And then we can even do some trapdoors uh, like shown here. And I think that looks pretty awesome. And then the floor can just be the usual floor. Oh, actually I kind of like that. Um, actually I kind of don't like that. <laughs> I changed my mind a lot. Anyways, let's just go ahead and put all this flooring in. And not forget that. And boom. So we have a nice little enchanting area. I actually think those look kind of silly. In my opinion, so I'm just going to remove them. And I'm just going to put it like that. And I think that looks fine to me. And now you have an enchantment table. And on this side, you could do whatever... I'm going to do my blue orchid with the pots just because I want to and it is required in all my builds. I'm just going to take a stair. I can't spell stair. Guys, help me. I'm losing my spelling, abil spelling abilities. Spelling abilities. And we're just going to do just a miraculous amount of blue orchids, guys. Definitely have to have the blue orchids. And then you could even do something fancy with the lighting in the background. Whatever you want to do. Anyways, guys, if you like this tutorial, please give it a like. Subscribe to me to see more tutorials like this. Normally, I'm not so derpy and I don't make thousands of mistakes per video. I'm sorry about that, guys. But I do make mistakes. I'm just like you guys. No different human being. We all make mistakes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, follow the guy on Twitter, guy slash girl on Twitter in the description below. He's really cool. He made this design or the base design of this above ground sort of thing. I kind of modified it, used my own materials, and then I added my own little underground touch. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, subscribe to see more tutorials from me. Follow me on Twitter. Link to my Twitter is in the description. You can tweet me the pics of your builds that you do for my channel or just any builds, and I will show them off, maybe even make a tutorial on them. You never know. Anyways, guys, if you're going to dislike the video, tell me why. I want to know why so I can fix it in future videos. I don't care if you dislike it. If you do, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. So that's cool with me. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Did anyone else notice? My mouth got full of spit because I didn't swallow during saying that like whole outro. That was really funny. Ah, that was funny. Anyways, see you guys. Bye.